Today in this video, we will learn about maximum discharge rate and maximum charge rate where we will cover the definition explanation with an example. So before getting started, if you guys haven't seen the previous video about C rate, go check it out. The link appears up here and it's even in the description below. Maximum discharge rate tells us the maximum current that can be drawn from the cell. There are two common discharge rating methods. First one is a maximum continuous discharge current. Second one is a maximum peak discharge current. Now let's see what is maximum continuous discharge current. It is a maximum current that the cell can supply continuously without overheating or damaging itself. Let's understand it with an example. Let's say the maximum continuous current rating is 10 amps. So that means that the cell can provide 10 amps of current continuously from its full charge state until its empty state. Now let's learn about peak discharge current. It is simply the amount of current a cell can provide for a short burst. That means it can provide max current only for a fraction of time. This depends on the manufacturer as some take 2 to 3 seconds to burst while the other consider a 10 second or a longer period for the maximum peak discharge. This is exactly why it is hard to use maximum peak discharge current for comparison of cells. Because manufacturers usually rate their cells at the extreme end of what they are capable of. It is never a good idea to push them to the limits of their ratings. Moreover, operating cells to the rated limits tend to get very hot and they operate inefficiently. This is why we use maximum continuous discharge current as a better figure when making comparison between cells. If you want to use the entire capacity of a battery cell, don't push to its maximum discharge current limits. Now let's see about maximum charge rate. The maximum charge rate is similar to the maximum discharge rate and is also self-explanatory which is the maximum rate that you can charge the cell. Most cells will have a charge rating of not more than about 0.5 C. Charging a cell to its maximum charge rate will shorten the life expectancy of the cell. It is recommended not to charge most lithium cells at more than 0.5 C and Charging closer to 0.2 C is mostly preferable for the cell's health. Remember how we calculated the C rate for the discharge rate? It works the same for the charge rate. A 5 ampere cell charged at 0.5 C would be charged at 2.5 amps. However, if you charge a 2.5 amp cell at 2.5 amps, that would be 1 C charging, which means a very fast charging by lithium battery standards. If you find this video helpful, do hit the like button. To learn more about TVs, go subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'll be posting videos consistently. Check out the website given in the description where you can upload blogs, resolve your queries and can also watch our other videos with a clear and detailed explanation. There is a community page completely dedicated for AV enthusiasts around the globe. In the upcoming video, we shall learn about how to increase voltage using series connection. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.